Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today I have a very nice cigarette case made by Evans. engine turning and enamel the enamel is in very good condition there are some scuffs and some some wear to it um, but don't lost my glasses last night so I'm kind of blind but I don't see if there's paint loss here it's very minor maybe there is there um, I don't know look the paint looks very good I don't know that I would ever call anything used mint um, and this case certainly is not mint it's one of the things that I thought was kind of interesting about it is um, how good the case looks from the front it appears to me that this case has obviously been used um, both it's definitely got many scuffs and scrapes scratches dings to the bottom of the case which would make sense if it was being scooted around on top of somewhere and maybe the top was didn't have the um, contact that the bottom of the case had but also the inside um, while it is in very good condition um, there are some marks um, scuffs general what appears to be wear to me as though this case as nice as it is on the top it has been used and uh, which nothing wrong with that that's that's great that's awesome uh, it is monogrammed RTW and um, I hope they got a lot of enjoyment out of it. And I hope that uh, in the future someone else will get a lot of enjoyment out of it as well. Very tight clasping mechanism there. Grabbing a hold of the little pin there. The springs appear strong and intact. And uh, if you are the kind of person that rolls your own cigarettes without filters, then uh, you might be able to put this to use. As you can see, comparing it to the size of a commercially sold filtered cigarette today, they would not fit in this case. Or if you tried to fit them in the case, then they wouldn't do a very good job of holding them in there. Um, this, I'm assuming, I'm not sure when 
cigarettes began to be commercially produced like that. But obviously, and maybe they were commercially produced, uh, I think the 20s or 30s was probably when the case was produced. Um, if that was the case, uh, I don't know, maybe they were already um, manufacturing cigarettes where, you know, people weren't having to roll their own. But maybe, uh, you know, I know that you used to be able to buy, I know you used to be able to buy camel cigarettes that didn't have filters in it. You could do that uh, when I started, when I was a young man in the, the late 80s. You could still buy camels without filters. So, um, talking in circles here to say uh, you can't just buy a commercially produced cigarette today and fit it in this case but if you roll your own then maybe one of these old cases is what you need Very good looking cigarette case. As I said, scratches, scrapes, scuffs. Overall, I would say it's in very good condition. And uh, the cover, the top with the enamel is in excellent condition. If you like old lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms, then please subscribe to the channel. Like the video that you're watching. Tell your friends about the channel. Hit the uh, share button and send that off in a text, email, social media, however it is that you communicate with people these days and um, let them get a look at it for themselves. Uh, also, uh, social media, Dependable Flame and DependableFlame.com. If you would like us across all the social media platforms, namely Pinterest, Facebook, Twitter, and of course, eBay. Also, comment below if you have any questions or anything regarding vintage lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Until next time.